he's considered a privilege to talk to God. We consider it an honor when he answers us. We get excited when he shows off and just blesses us. Sometimes we doubt him when he says, wait for my response. Sometimes we get nervous when we don't hear from him right away. But the good thing is that he's always there. Yes. He said he'll never leave us, nor forsake us. He said he won't even see any of his own begging for bread. So whether your praise is one that is public or private, whether your prayer request is something that is public or private, we are fortunate to serve a public and private God. So as you come forward with your prayers of petition or your prayer of praise, we sing, Now Dear Lord. Now Dear, now, dear Lord. want to pause right now just in the stillness of this moment to thank you. If for any reason we were ungrateful, unthoughtful, unthankful, please forgive us. For the mere fact that you woke us up this morning is enough for us to give thanks. And then you add it to that by putting food on our table, clothes on our back. Dear Lord, there's some that woke up this morning and were able to immediately see the starry skies because they did not have a roof over their head. There's some, dear Lord, that are looking in garbage cans right now to find nourishment, we were able to go into our fridge. There's some, dear Lord, who are still wearing the same clothes from Monday because they have nothing else to wear. Lord, we are so fortunate we didn't even know what to wear today. Then you brought us here safely, dear Lord, whether it was by car, bus or the natural two feet that you gave us you brought us here safely into your fellowship dear lord there are places where folks cannot meet publicly and worship you but we are able to do just that so we thank you for those liberties but lord we'd be lying to you to tell you that we are here right now looking good feeling good with a smile on our face, but Lord, we know deep down we may have some concerns. 
some issues. And so, dear Lord, we ask you at this moment to deal with those issues. Deal with those concerns. Because only you can. And that is why we petition your throne. That's why we come forward. Because you uniquely understand how to help us with that financial situation. You uniquely understand how to help us with that person on the job that is getting on our last nerve. And Lord, we don't want to say what we really want to say because you have told us not to say, Father, help us. Lord, you are only the one that can help us deal with that issue at home because we put on a great front here, but we know once we go home, there are issues. Dear Lord, we know that you're the only unique one that can help us address our dreams and our goals because it seems they're within reach, but for whatever reason, it's just not becoming reality. Dear Lord, even right here in church, there are folks who may not even need or want to talk to each other and are happy that there are two sides of the church. But their Father, even today, teach us how to love. Teach us how to get over it and to move on. Then, dear Lord, as young people, whether we are young at heart or young in age, Help us to realize that the life that you have given us is a precious gift. And each moment that we have an opportunity to learn more about you and learn more about why you created us and why we are in your image, we have a better chance of being able to reun be reunited with that creator. So we thank you just for the life that you've given us. And Lord, at this moment, I just want to pause in the quietness to allow everyone to just specifically speak to their need that they want to talk with you about. And just for these next few moments, Lord, because you are the God who can hear all of us at the same time, I want us to speak to you in the quietness of this moment. Lord, you said if we even murmur or say a mumbling word, you could still understand. For those who are sick, at the shut-in, nursing homes, they're still members of our family. Please be with them at this moment. The person who is assigned to speak today, we thank you for speaking to them first. And then allow what you've spoken to them to be revealed in the sermon. Then, dear Lord, for any reason, if we are distracted by the devil sitting next to us, near us, angels, please protect us, block us away. Keep our minds focused on the service, dear Lord. Help us not to be so far removed that we not get the blessing we stand in need of. And then, dear Lord, when it's all said and done, Lord, help that after all the worship songs, after all the sermons, after all the Sabbath school and AY programs, it would have not been in vain that we would have made it into your kingdom. And we could do this, but at your feet. Wouldn't that be a great experience? We look forward to that day when we could be all around that welcome table. Thank you for taking this time to listen, hear, answer our individual and collective prayers. In Jesus' name, amen.
are privileged today to have a singing evangelist with us uh, coming from North Bronx. And so we are thankful for her accepting the invitation. First from the one above because he is the one who gave her the talent that has been converted to a gift. And so please be blessed with both the special music and the meditation by Stephanie Johnson. <laughs> 